Hello, I'm Pat. I'm one of the organisers in the Science Festival. And this year it's a digital festival, so you can see us all online. So today I am going to read a story. And the story is called Whale Get Stuck. And it's written by Charles Fuge and Karen Hales. So you look at the cover again. You can spy lots of different creatures. A little bird here. I wonder if you know what that bird is. Maybe you could find out. And there's a polar bear. Oh, and another one. And a great big walrus with tusks. And I think we've got a seal peeping out there. And right up at the top is a little brightly coloured puffin. Okay, there we are. This one down here, I think, is a cormorant. I see lots of them in Caithness. Okay, so it's called Whale Gets Stuck. It was midsummer in the Arctic. The sun shone all day and all night, and the sheet of ice that had been covered the sea all through the winter was melting and breaking into small islands. Have you look? Wow, look at them. Oh, and there's a little fish there. You can see all the ice breaking up, just gradually breaking up. Whale loved the open sea. He dived down into the deep, dark water, and then he thrust his tail turned as hard as he could and swam back up to the bright surface. Wow, that's impressive, isn't it? Oh, and there's a little fish I can spy underneath. Look at me, Whale cried as he leapt out of the water. Fish looked up at Whale and quickly swam aside. He didn't want Whale to land on top of him, but mm, let's see what happened. Look at Whale. Whoa, what a huge leap. But, slap, Whale landed right in the middle of an ice floe and struggle as he might, he was stuck fast. What am I going to do now? He spluttered. Stuck right on the ice. Just then, a group of animals arrived to help out. Don't worry, said Walrus. We'll soon have you back in the water. Dolphins, he bellowed, tip the floe from underneath and I will leave her whale off the ice with my magnificent tusks. There they are, look. I'm going to try and lever him, push him off the ice. But whale didn't move an inch. I know, squawked Puffin to the birds. Let's lift him off instead. He thought that was a good idea. Let's lift him off. All trying to help. The birds flew up and perched on top of Whale. You see them all on top of Whale? All the different birds. You can spy them. Ouch! Stop! Shrieked Whale as the birds tried to grip his slippery skin with their sharp claws. It won't work, he sighed sadly. I'm stuck here forever. Everyone gathered around Walrus, hoping that he would have a bright idea. Oh, maybe he had good ideas. Let's see. Meanwhile, under the water, Fish couldn't see what was happening up above, and he was getting worried. Why hadn't Whale come back below the water to see him? Fish didn't know he was stuck in the top. Fish was getting really worried. By now, a group of polar bears and seals had arrived to see what all the fuss was about. You can see them all arriving. See them all there, lots of them. That's it, said Walrus excitedly. You seals can help push while I leave her wheel with my magnificent tusks and the dolphins tip the ice floe. That should do it. So the seals pushed, walrus strained, and the dolphins tipped. But it was still no good. Whale was still stuck fast. Look at them. Oh, what a job they're having. You see all the animals? What a job. Poor whale began to sob quietly. Oh, he was really worried, stuck in the ice. Suddenly, Narwhal appeared. 
If whale leapt on to the ice, then he must be able to leap off again. Perhaps he just needs a little jab from underneath, he smiled. So he thought maybe a little jab. Oh, look, I've got a little narwhal here. Oh, maybe a little, just a wee jab. Oh, a wee jab. Oh, I don't know if whale would like that. So he aimed his sharp tusk at the dark shadow above. He thrust his tail and thump. Narwhal's tusk wasn't long enough. He wasn't long enough. So that didn't work. But poor whale was still stuck on the ice. Meanwhile, Walrus had another plan. If the polar bears leap onto the edge of the ice and the dolphins tip the other side, then I will leave her whale with my magnificent tusks while the seals push. So even more, look, even more. If you can push it even more, polar bears and the seals and the dolphins and they'll have another go. The seals will push. So the polar bears leapt, the dolphins tipped, Walrus, walrus strained and the seals pushed. The ice flow moved slowly, tipped up, pointed towards the sky and then, I wonder what happened. I wonder what happened. Let's see. Splash! It fell back into the water and a huge wave swept everyone clean off the ice everyone except whale he was still stuck fast on the ice floe as the day went on the sun got hotter and brighter and whale was still stuck the animals pushed and shoved until finally they gave up and lay hot and panting on the cool ice in the lovely sunshine. They were having quite a nice time in the sunshine. Deep in the water, the fish peered upwards and this time he could see exactly what was going on. So you can see fish away down there. And now he could see what was going on. The heat of the sun and the hot, weary animals had begun to melt the ice. The fish could see that the ice was getting very thin. Above the surface, the tired animals had not noticed the creaking and the cracking all around them until crunch. Look what happened. Look what happened. Crunch. All the animals were plunged right back into the sea, including whale. He managed as well. Look at him. He managed as well. All the animals right into the sea. Whale was just about to leap out of the water with joy when... Whale, no, cried fish. Whale remembered that his friend was still waiting for him. So with a slap of his tail, he dived under the water. Can you see him? He dived right into the water. And the two friends spent the rest of the day splashing beneath the surface together. There they are. Oh, they look really happy. Oh, I'm glad I had a happy ending. So a little job for you to do, if you'd like to do, is... I've got a little plastic tree, so what you could do, put some water in the tree and then find one of your animals, one of your seashore animals or one of your animals you've got. I have got, I've got different ones, but I've got a little dolphin here, right? I'm going to put some water in here and then I'm going to set my dolphin on top, right? And then I'm going to pop it in the freezer. So pop it in the freezer and make sure then that the dolphin is frozen in the water so you might have to keep that overnight. The next day, take your little dish out and the dolphin should be frozen 
or your whale or whichever animal you watch. You can even try it with an elephant or any animal. Okay, but I'm going to try it with a dolphin. Put it inside, leave it to freeze. Next day, take it out and set it somewhere sunny. Set it in the sunshine, just like what happened in the story. And wait and see if your dolphin can escape or your little animal can escape. So you could try it with a dolphin or you could try it with, oh, I've got a fancy shark here. You could try it with as well. You could try it with a shark. And I've got another little creature here as well, a different kind of little whale as well. You could try it with that. Okay. Freeze it there. And I've got one more. Oh, I've got my little narwhal. Right. And maybe that would work as well. So you try it and see if it, if it melts. And then when it melts, you can take it back out and give it a good dry then before you play with it again. Okay? Thanks for watching, boys and girls. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the Science Festival. Take care. Bye.